Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some Tumbling Tower Block DIYs and this pyramid I made in a previous video uh, and it's actually my favourite DIY I ever did <laughs> but when I was looking at it I figured out I could make some other DIYs using the same tower block structure. So I'm going to use two packs of the 72 block packs of tower blocks, some super glue, wood glue and a square ruler. So I just start by gluing the blocks together and I've put a number at the top of each layer so that you know which one you're on and um, I'm just marking off with a pencil where I'm going to cut and I have this little saw that I got from Amazon and I've got a link down below if you're interested in it but I'll show you at the end of this DIY that you don't have to use a saw and cut the pieces you can just stick them in the way and but for some of the DIYs in this video you will have to cut it down So I just keep placing the blocks around, gluing them down and then that's the first layer and you can pause the video or slow it down so that you can see exactly how I'm placing the blocks. So I, you just keep repeating the, well just doing the same thing for each layer and it's not very exciting to watch. <laughs> so I made this DIY and then had an idea for another DIY and another one, another one <laughs> using these squares. So I had to make these squares over and over again. <laughs> but it's worth it because they all turned out really nice. If it had more blocks, I probably could have come up with some more things. So maybe in the future, so I'm obsessed with ancient Egypt and pyramids and stuff, so I love these, but um, if you're not into that, then obviously the other DIYs later on in the video, I um, hope you like those ones. So there's no more explaining really for this. I'm just making the squares smaller one each time and you just need to watch and see the pattern for each layer and I'm just going to let the music play for now because I don't have anything else to say about it. <laughs>
once all your layers are dry, you're just going to glue them together. Now if I put a bit too much glue on, you could probably get away with just putting it in the corners. And for each row, I am just putting it on at an angle. So that the, all the corners are touching at an angle. And I just keep doing that for each layer. If you wanted to make the other pyramid, you can just put them uh, square with obviously an equal space around the edge of each one. So I just keep gluing these on and definitely um, don't put as much glue <laughs> just in the corners because when you turn it over you can see it. And that's the last layer. So I tried out this blue stain by Varanth and this is what it looks like on the bottom if you don't cut off the pieces. And then I hot glue a pyramid crystal on the top and I'll leave a link for them. There was a set of eight different colours from Amazon and this is how it turned out. I love the pattern that the layers make when you twist them like this. Now what do you guys think about this blue stain? I'm undecided on if I like it or not, <laughs> but I wanted to try it so I used it on this. And then if you turn it upside down and fill it with some succulents and stones and stuff, then it looks like this. And I stained this one with the Waverly Antique Wax. For this next DIY, I took the first layer and I made it and I didn't cut down the blocks and then I just filled in the inside in. And off camera I made all the other layers except for the last layer with the three little blocks. So I'm just going to glue them together and there I didn't cut them because you're not going to see inside this one. And I'm just gluing them together in the spiral shape and you could always do it the square way if you wanted to. And then I just wipe off any excess glue that spills out. And you see here, this was the ninth layer and I didn't do the last layer. You can if you want to, if this is all you wanted to make, but I wanted to make... Well, I wanted to use this DIY and the last DIY to put together to make the next DIY. <laughs> so you only need the tenth layer on one of them. And then when you glue it together, make sure that the biggest squares line up with each other and then you can have it this way. I think it turned out, it looks really cool. I love it. I just put the succulents in that back in the top or you could turn it upside down and then have it like a little plant stand, put your candles on, things like that. So let me know which way you would have it and it's just good to have options. <laughs> So let me know in the comments down below, I love getting your guys feedback. For this next DIY I made the first four layers of the pyramid, one with the first layer all filled in and the other one obviously I didn't fill it in. <laughs> and I am just going to glue them in the square design. You could do the twisted one if you wanted to. So I'm just starting with the smallest one and I'm doing it this way so that I don't get any glue sticking out, seeping out. <laughs> so I just do from the smallest one to the biggest one. And then just wipe off any glue that comes out with a wet paper towel. And this one I'm starting off with the biggest one. And then just make sure you've got uh, equal 
space around the outside of each one. And that's it. And I stain them with the Waverly Antique Wax. And I have some of this wallpaper from Dollar Tree. And you could put the frame the other way like I just showed you, but I'm going to do it this way around. So I just cut out the piece that I want with some scissors. And I already cut some foam board, so I'm just going to stick it to the foam board. Just trimming off the excess. And then I'm just going to hot glue it to the back. I was just checking which side was going to be the top. <laughs> and then I just made a wee hanger with some twine and a popsicle stick and some hot glue. And for this next one, I am just putting in some Spanish moss and a wee succulent and some greenery. But you could put some flowers in here or... And I love how these turned out. Obviously you can paint them whichever colour you like, stain them whichever colour. I just love this antique work so I used that. And then again, you could just put some flowers in here. You could write, put some, you get your cricket and put some writing inside it. Or there's lots of different things you could do with it. For this next DIY, I made the two frames like I did for the pictures in the last DIY. And then I made these, these um, panels, which are seven blocks across and five blocks high for two of them. And the other one, well, the other two are eight blocks across and five blocks high. So I start off with the seven across and then I just glue it on. And then I glue the eight block one to that. And then I do the seven across one so that the two smaller panels are opposite each other and the two larger ones are opposite each other and it makes a square. And I just glue it with the super glue, wood glue, and then I just wipe off any extra that comes out with a wet paper towel. And then once it's dry, I just put some glue on the top rim and then I was going to put it on like this, stick it together like this, but then decide to turn it upside down and then glue it together like this. And I just wipe off the excess glue and I stain it with the Waverly Antique Wax. And then here it is, you can have it like this, like a planner, and put some plants inside. I don't have enough <laughs> room there to show you at all with the plant. Or you can turn it upside down and then you can have a plant stand. For this next DIY, I made rules four to eight, and then I am just gluing them together with the corners in the opposite direction each way and I got this mirror from Michael's, it was in a little pack and I put it on top of the second layer and then I just keep gluing the squares on like this so it kind of looks like a star And then I stain it with the Waverly Antique Wax. So you could have it like this, just a little bit of wall art. Or I put succulent on this one. 
and then if you turn it round then if you use the mirror then you could have it with the mirror and for this last DIY I made another pyramid but I didn't want to show you all the steps again so I stained it with the Jacobean wood stain by Minwax and then it's a secret one <laughs> So I hot glue a crystal to the top of one of the pyramid crystals and then for this pyramid I filled in the bottom layer so it would all be enclosed and then halfway up I'm just going to show you this is what I did to fill it in and then I put an extra tower block on the so it would fit on the inside so the top wouldn't move around so that you could open it up and I've just put some jewellery in here but you could paint these any way you want you could like glam them up, put mirror tiles and stuff for all these DIYs the possibilities are endless and this is what it looks like when it's closed so let me know what you think about all these DIYs and thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon